Virginia, because I was called an outsider, and that wasn't a good thing. So it doesn't make any difference. I went right ahead, and um, and my first year in Emmons was really hard, um, but I grew to love the people, and I feel like I'm looking at the people of Emmons, but I'm just looking at you. I mean, the same folks, Southern West Virginians, same way of talking. Your prayer, where do you go? Oh, he's back there. Your, your prayer was wonderful. And everything you said was wonderful. And the voice with which you said it was wonderful because it, it brings the, the music and the beauty of the Southern West Virginia way of talking, which is unique. You can't find it in Eastern Kentucky. You can't find it in Southwestern Virginia. You can only find it in Southern Virginia. Right, aren't they? You're right. And it's simple, it's faith, and uh, patriotism, and that just comes naturally. But now i got to go back to Emmons for a second. And I was, uh, I, I was what, 26, 27 years old, something like that. And we didn't have any water. Well, I didn't, you know, I noticed that, obviously. <laughs> but people say, well, we got wells. Those wells dried up a lot. And so actually what happened often, especially during the summertime, even worse if it was the wintertime, people had to go down and do their laundry in the little coal river. At the time, you don't want to do that. In other words, what I'm saying, if you don't have water, you know what God's grace means when you get water. And I just, I mean, there were a lot of things that had to be done. A lot of things folks there wanted to see change. And there wasn't, the, no school bus would come pick them up because they're, Kanawha County, which had a sort of a pretty strict Board of Education said that you had to be no more than two miles beyond the end of a hard road. And if you were two more, more than two miles, the school bus didn't have to come pick you up. So it didn't come pick anybody up, so our kids didn't go to school. Well, that was helped by the fact there was a one-room school across the swinging bridge in Boone County, the other half of, of Emmett. And of course, the Boone County folks and the Kanawha County folks didn't get along. You understand that, right? <laughs> I mean, we never have controversy. We never have factions in southern West Virginia, do we? Everybody just gets along right from the start. And when you have a project like this, you do. You do. But why would you see, and so it's hard. Water is hard. It's expensive. It means the people got to want it. And it means the people got to sign up for it. And it means that uh, you're competing with about 500,000 other communities all over the country that need water. But when you're in southern West Virginia, you don't have water. You need water. Mm -hmm. That's drinking. It has to do with uh, how a child's teeth develop, health, a sense of, you know, dignity. Mm -hmm. So for 30 years, the eight years that I was governor, and 22 more years that I've been in the Senate, Bobby Lewis and I, and a bunch of other folks, were trying to get water for Emmons, West Virginia. The West Virginia Water Company um, gave it to everybody all around us, but they wouldn't give it to us because we were remote. Well, I kind of like that remoteness. You know, there weren't a whole lot of families there, but they were all good people. And everybody um, is the same in the eyes of God, am I right, preacher? So if you live in the middle of Charleston, that doesn't make you any better than if you live uh, in some hollow creek in Lincoln Lake. So anyway, we finally got it. And it was a it was a lesson in humility for me because I figured, you know, if I'm governor for, for eight years. I ought to be able to do that. Well, I couldn't. Well, I said, well, okay, go to the Senate. Well, I ought to be able to do that. Well, I couldn't for 22 years until we finally got it done. And they turned on the tap, 
And I think I'm going to turn a wrench, aren't I, somewhere? Yes, sir. Where is, is that, that across there? Yes, sir, over here's the pump stick. Okay. Yes, sir. What's going to happen when I turn the wrench? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're hoping it doesn't turn the water off. <laughs> my last pizza before I go home. <laughs> but um, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was so happy. We had a ceremony. And that's the only other ceremony I've ever been to. Um, no, that's not entirely true. I can remember some in Barber County and a couple other places. Uh, but uh, where, you, where you turn the water and all of a sudden the water comes out of a faucet. It comes out of something that people have in their houses and people can wash their clothes, and they can drink that water, and they can brush their teeth, and they can bathe, and um, heat that water, cool that water. And it's, it's just, it's heaven. It's absolute heaven. But you don't know that unless you haven't had it. If you haven't had it, you know it. And that's why, you know, green in, and Jacqueline Natcher, you and all of you, the county commissioners who are here, are there any members of the House of Delegates here? I talked to Rick Thompson. Uh, actually, I talked to his office this morning, driving over here. That's, that's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> it was about something else, but I let him know I was coming over here. And actually, he can't be here because I, the secretary told me he's at a funeral up in Clarksburg for a fellow that I know pretty well. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure he is so. In any event, this is a very, very happy occasion for me. You know, you get, you get into um, public life, and when you run for the house like I did, or, um, you know, you know every precinct, every person virtually in your county, because you're just always at it. Legislature only meets three months a year, but you just you have to get to places that other people don't go, and that I don't go as much now that I have to spend five days a week in, in Washington. And that's a, it's very intricate with what's going on now in this country when there's so much hostility to the concept of, of, um, of government, of people who are in Washington, people who are in Washington and who are uh, who know, know what they're doing. They're professionals of what they're doing. And there's kind of a feeling that, well, maybe we just send out people that have never been in this before and they can automatically put together legislation. Well, you just asked Bobby and I about the difficulty of getting water to Emmons and getting water here getting water here. But the difference was that you're a lot more involved because back then uh, the people weren't as involved. I mean, what they wanted was a school bus that could come pick their kids up. And we went in, I'm, you, now you gotta forgive me. You gotta forgive me. So I get going here a little bit. <laughs> but I went to the board, we went to the Board of Education. We had a little community organization. And we went to the Board of Education and we had, we had, it took us three times three trips because the first time we were mad and we said we demand the school bus and they sort of pitched us out because they were high and mighty and we were lowly and humble they weren't me we were and uh, so we came back and we kind of war games it a little bit and said well what we'll do is this time we'll be real nice be polite well, that worked very well for them because they could just ignore us. <laughs> so the third time, I mean, this was, you know, it's called children being able to go to school. And that seemed sort of important. And uh, so the third time we sort of did a mixture. And I think they got a little sick of us, felt that we were going to be coming about once a month, which we were. And so finally we got a school bus. Now, Bobby, I'm going to take that seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the, your advantage is it may be quite some time before I come back over there. <laughs> but 
And I'm having a good time because I'm a long friend. I wanted your staff to be able to see. <laughs> I see. <laughs> you speak as long well, as you'd like. That's right. Did, we love hearing you. Did, yeah. you, see, did you see Tammy behind this podium? <laughs> I don't think it was made for her. Do you? I mean, I could. I, I, I knew she wore glasses. I could see them. Uh, and I got down to about her chin, but that's about where it stopped. <laughs> We did the podium for you, Senator. I know. And I'm very, very grateful. I'm very, very Always do. But anyway, the USDA, everybody, the Triad Engineering folks, some of whom I've met, um, and again, the the county commissioners. You know, we just can't. Lincoln County, and what I, I loved, I was going through the, the list. I know everybody because they're all in office back when I was a governor. <laughs> That's great. We live a long time. Yeah. 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 And hopefully get elected. That's right. That's right. No, Lincoln County is a very calm, peaceful county politically, isn't it? Oh, you bring on that now. Well, but see, that's part of the fabric of what we're talking about here, because every county, every county has several factions within each of the parties, and then factions which have nothing to do with parties, factions that have to do with which side of a mountain do you live on, or which side of a river do you live on. And we had a swinging bridge, as I said, at Emmons, and one side was Boone County, and the other side was uh, Kanawha County. And that, that swinging bridge was a little bit shaky in the middle. There hadn't been any sort of rehabilitation done on that swinging bridge for quite a while. Mm -hmm. But in a funny way, it, it kind of brought us all together, like events like this do. Mm -hmm. um, you gotta, you got to go through hardship. I was learning, obviously. By that time, I decided I was going to stay in West Virginia forever. People didn't believe that. Uh, then I ran for governor, and I got beat, and people said, oh, well, now he'll just leave. Of course, I wasn't going to. And here it is 50 years later. So I figure I'm pretty happy here, don't you think? And I'm looking at you. <laughs> because you're, you're, you're doing the same kind of stuff I was doing. And you look like a good person, you've got a good future. Thank you. All right? So you gotta, you got to fulfill that, right? I'll try. Okay. All right. All right. Um, you know what also else is interesting? And obviously, Governor Manchin and Congressman Ray Hall are both, I, I think they're in the election campaign. Yeah. And I really want them to win. And I'll be in a couple places um, uh, to help them. But the, um, you know, no, I can't even talk about it, about them and the campaign, can I? Because that would make this a different kind of occasion, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm not going to do that. Unless, of course, I you demand that I do it. <laughs> but you should. But you should. We don't want to have the press saying we're having a political meeting here. We're actually turning on water. That's right. Or at least a wrench. <laughs> Whatever that does. I got worried when I saw that in my briefing. We're going to turn a wrench. Uh, the, another thing is that um, I think it, was, it goes back to about 2005 that uh, some people came to me with petitions, maybe six, yeah. 2006, they came to me with petitions. Yeah. I think it was 02. It was long, yeah. yeah. 2002. Yes, I think it was 202 or 3. 202 or 3, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, well. And I have a letter that they after I asked you to help. Oh. I think it's like a two hey, will you send me a copy? Mm -hmm. Promise? Yeah. I really want to get a copy. I would like to send it. I'll treasure that. I'll treasure that. Okay. But then getting all the money together and, and then... Um,